So, what was your initial reaction like when you heard there was going to be a Greek reunion here? Oh, God. Um, uh, immediately I was like, oh, that's awesome because we just got to hang out at Jacob's wedding. Right. Um, so I was like, oh, we get to do it again. This is, this is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you remember what your audition was like for the show? I know exactly what it was like. Uh, I was just telling them. <laughs> So I was 18. Uh -huh. uh, it was my first series ever. Okay. Um, I was about two and a half hours late to the audition. I was on hole maybe nine or ten golfing. I just, you know, I didn't have time <laughs> management down. I was living in LA by myself. Yeah. Um, my agent called me. He's like, "Where are you?" I'm like, uh, "I'm on hole nine. <laughs> I'm like playing really well. Like, what do you want?" He's like, "Dude, you got to go to that audition for Great That Pilot." I was like, "Oh my god." Yeah. I remembered, but I was like, I can yeah. make this. You know, when you're young, you're like, I can do this. I can do it all. Um, show up about two and a half hours late. Walk into the room. I'm like, oh my god, do my apologies. Um, audition. Leave. I'm like, that went well. You never really know. You're like, yeah. You, sometimes you feel great about it, and then you never hear anything. So I was like, ah, oh, that felt great. And my rep called me two days later, and he's like, hey, that that show freak, they want to book you. And I was like, for what? Again, I, 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 I hadn't experienced, yeah. I'd been in class, but class doesn't teach you right. about terminology right. and, and what people mean. <laughs> um, it, it's really about acting. Um, right. So when they called me, I was like, for what? Like that, that pilot that you just had issued for, man, they want to book you. I'm like, are you serious? And I'm with my girlfriend, now wife at the time, and she's like, we need to celebrate. We're going to Subway. <laughs> So I remember all of that first experience yeah. of learning that I had done it and booked it, and then not even two weeks later, I'm on set and I'm meeting Paul James. Yeah. What, so what was that experience shooting the pilot like? Because obviously with a pilot, you don't know if it's going to get picked up. So yeah. like, what was that experience like? I, I look back now, and it was as if I was like I was an infant right. on set. Uh, I met Paul James day one. Um, he's a series regular. I'm just yeah. a recurring role at right. this point. And immediately I'm like, oh, okay, so we're, I've established we're in the scene together. Right. I walk up, I'm like, hey man, nice to meet you. We're kind of hanging out in our chairs, we're talking. I'm like, so how much are they paying you? <laughs> immediately. And he's like, you don't ask people that kind of question. I'd say he's, he's older than I am, right. so I was younger. And, he, and PJ immediately kind of like, kind of took me under his wing, it yeah. felt like. And he was like, don't do anything. I'll, yeah, I'll not I'll let, let you. you do anything yeah. stupid. Um, so that first first day on set with him was just so, I just, my, I, I was a deer in headlights. Yeah. Hit your mark, say your line, oh, you gotta, you gotta speed it up, you yeah. need to do this. I wasn't accustomed to any of that. I was, I was on, you know, I was on stage in acting class and I had all the time in the world so I, I could allow moments to happen and build and, right. nope, TV is here, you gotta hit your mark and say your line. Right. So it, it was, an, it was eye-opening to be honest, just to even work on my first pilot to see how much goes into it. Yeah how long it takes, how much start-stop there yeah. is, um, eye-opening. <laughs> yeah, and it's a real acting class, I'm sure, in itself, too. Yep, oh yeah. yeah. In, in a way that people don't even think. Being right. on set, in terminology, knowing where to be, what to do, different yeah. roles. Oh, this is the AD, this is the PA, you know, just, no one yeah. teaches you that in acting class. Right. It's more about your craft and learning. Yeah. So. Yeah. So once you actually, though, like, it gets picked up and you start shooting it for real, was it everything you thought you'd be, and how did your perspective of the show change, like as it went on? Because you know, four years—that's a long time. Yeah. Um, when I first, when we first started, it was like, okay, this is my job. Right. Because it's every day. Uh, they're long hours. You get a little. You get a. You kind of take it for granted what you're doing. You're like, ah, oh, you know, my friends are all hanging out. Like, I wish I could hang out, but no, you're on set all day long. But you're being able to be creative. Uh, you're being pushed as well. Um, I was. I felt with my character being gay, it was. It was a challenge, and it, it, I accepted it because uh, it helped me change and evolve as a person. Because I was so young and I was so new to the city, and to be able to uh, get a role in a series that on ABC Family really challenges you is, is, is amazing. And as an actor, I think that's what anybody would want. Um, so just looking back, it's like, man, what what an experience. Uh, you know, I know it's, it was Amber's first series. I know it was Jacob's first yeah. series. So we were all so young. Mm -hmm. There was no, like, established lead or star. Yeah. So everyone was kind of working together. And we all just became so close that I just feel like, you know, you're 
you're on other series, you do other things, and you look back at that, and you're like, wow, that was that was special. That was something that I didn't even know was special in the moment. But I know now, like watching it and talking to different fans, um, hey, I'm going to college, and I've, I've watched Greek two times, and I love it. Hey, I was in college 20 years ago, and I was in a frat. People talking about, also people from other countries, where it's like, I've never heard of the, the fraternity system, the Greek right. system. This is amazing. It just, it, it really does resonate with a lot of different people. Yeah. What do you think it is, though, about the show that keeps people coming back? Like you said, fans are still even, I mean, it's 12 years since the pilot, and fans yeah. are still talking about it and loving it as much. Uh, I think that it's, um, in, especially in, you know, now, 2019, I think everyone's kind of in a dark place with, uh, crime docs or Game of Thrones. It's almost like The Office for some people, um, where they can put it on and it's nostalgic and I can pop my head in and I can see, oh, Cappy's doing something crazy again and yeah, I, I know exactly what's going on. Um, so there's that aspect of the show where it is lighthearted. Um, it deals with real life issues where I think people can always relate, always, with the series. Anyone can pick some, one character on the series and be like, I'm a lot like that. Or, or this resonates with me. Yeah. In what ways did you relate to your character and what ways were you guys different? Um, I related to him in, in a lot of ways of like, because he, he came he, so I, my character came out to his fraternity right. brothers. So right. I, I was new to LA. I yeah. left my family in Idaho and drove to LA. I was like, I'm getting out of here. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm done here. So there's the way of like, yeah, I, my college experience was on Greek. So I was a college student in the same way Heath was. There's obviously different differences between us. He was a stripper, yeah. uh, just to make money on the side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, he was gay, I'm not. Uh, so just different things like that, but we were pushed in all the same ways. Um, so many different things of how he dealt with his relationships. I've had to deal with yeah. my own relationships, and that's what you have to draw on. Yeah. Um, and now looking back, it's like, oh, I, my 20s, my early 20s, it's, it's, I, you know, when you're older, older you look back and you're yeah. like, oh, wow, it's, I was young and so impressionable and immature in ways, uh, so I feel, I feel really appreciative of even just being involved. Yeah. So I have two quick last questions, so yeah. where do you think Keith would be today? Keith would he'd be with Calvin, yeah. they'd probably have a few kids, yeah. um, and super successful. No more stripping, uh, <laughs> um, but that, I think like even playing opposite of, of PJ and Calvin, I just felt like they actually had, you know, because when you look back in your early twenties on relationships, it's like, oh yeah, we weren't perfect. Yeah. But we, but the characters when I was playing that character, they did feel perfect to me, and, and we did it kind of align with each other. Yeah. So last question, our website's called Talk Nerdy With Us because we all have some kind of inner nerd. Mm -hmm. So what is something you are currently nerding out about? Nerding out on um, my Alexa home? Yeah. <laughs> is that so stupid? I can call, my, my wife can call me with the kids every single morning and it's like, hey dad, it's like on video and I'm like, that's, it's just in my house and I can, you know, pop up any video I want. It plays amazing music. The speakers are insane. Yeah. This is like I'm doing a commercial for them right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, I'm not. <laughs> it's just that <laughs> awesome. And you can like Google things and just like, hey, you know, and I yeah. switch your name to Amazon because I think the other Alexa goes off, so it's like, I can't have both Alexas talking yeah. to me. Uh, yeah, it's and my kids love it. They can pull up little videos and stuff, so it's like one thing I'm nerding out on right now. That's so awesome.